First, crispered cockroaches open the door to other gene-edited insects. We can now edit insect genomes more freely and at will. A new CRISPR technology has gene editing cockroaches for the first time, and its creators believe it will work on more than a million other insect species too. If they're right, it could be used to control or eliminate pests and answer fundamental questions in biology. The challenge? To create gene edited insects, researchers typically inject CRISPR or another tech directly into the animal's laid eggs at an early stage of development. These problems have plagued researchers who wish to perform genome editing on a wide variety of insect species. This is what Taki Diamond said. This requires specialized expensive equipment and highly skilled lab workers. Each insect species needs its own specialized setup and some can't be edited at all. Cockroaches, for example, encase their eggs in a hard shell that's difficult to pierce. These problems with conventional methods have plagued researchers who wish to perform genome editing on a wide variety of insect species, said senior study author Takaiki Daiman of Kyoto University. Gene edited insects, scientists from Kyoto University and Spain's Institute of Evolutionary Biology have developed direct parental CRISPR, DIPA CRISPR, a new technique for creating gene edited insects, DIPA, D-I-P-A. Instead of targeting eggs, their CRISPR system is injected into the bodies of adult female insects near where their embryos are developing, and in their study, the system was tested to produce insects with white eyes by preventing the expression of certain genes. Taiki Daimon says this method should work for more than 90% of insect species. In cockroaches, up to 22% of the, the offspring inherited the desired trait, in red flower beetles, more than 50% did. The mutations were also passed down to the offspring of the gene-edited insects. In a sense, insect researchers have been freed from the, annoying, uh, the annoyance of egg injections, said Daimon. We can now edit insect genomes more freely and at will. In principle, this method should work for more than 90% of insect species, he said. The caveats. The researchers note that the way some species, such as fruit flies, reproduce would prevent the technique from being effective in them. A scientist would also need to have a solid understanding of ovary development in their target species to use DIPA CRISPRs on it. This can be challenging in some species, given the diverse life histories and reproductive strategies in insects the researchers write in their study. We may be opening up a future in which we can fully utilize the amazing biological functions of insects, Takaiki Daimon said. And additionally, while DIPA CRISPR could effectively deactivate specific genes, knock them out, it was not as successful at adding genes or knocking them in. Knock-in experiments with the red fruit uh, flower beetle had an eff efficacy of just 1.2%. The fact that DIPA CRISPR worked at all in the knock-in experiments suggests that its efficacy could potentially be improved in the future, though. Why it matters? DIPA CRISPR is far simpler than the standard method of creating gene-edited insects. It requires minimal equipment and works with commercially available Cas9 proteins. That gives it an advantage over REMOT, R-E-M-O-T control, a similar CRISPR tech used to edit insects and arachnids that is, spiders. By improving the deep uh, CRISPR method and making it even more eff efficient and versatile, we may be opening up a future in which we can fully utilize the amazing biological functions of insects, Daimon said. In principle, it may be also possible that other anthropods could be genome edited, arthropods, sorry, uh, could be genome edited using a similar approach, he said, these include agricultural and medical pests such as mites and ticks and important fishery resources such as shrimp and crabs. And this is on Collective Spark by Freethink Christian Hauser. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account.
The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.